The Great Siege of Bedford Castle How it all began The year is 1215 Barons meet at Bedford to plot rebellion against King John who sends Folks de Brote to capture the castle De Brote strengthens the castle's defences with towers after he's captured it from Hugh de Beauchamp who was living there before he makes walls and deep stone lined ditches stronger, ruthlessly robbing the stone from St. Paul's and St. Cuthbert's churches in the town. By 1224, Folks de Brute has left a trail of destruction across the countryside. King Henry III is now on the throne and King John is dead and King Henry orders the villain to Dunstable Court to face 30 charges of robbery and pillage, but he doesn't go. Meanwhile, Folks is travelling the land to raise a rebellion against the king. His brother William captures Justice Henry the Bray Bro, taking him in chains to the castle like this, in humiliation. In Northampton, King Henry III comes and he holds a court in the town Hears of the kidnapping, he sends his messenger with orders that William de Brote is to, be, is to release the prisoner. But William doesn't listen. So back in Bedford, William refuses the king's orders. His men gather as much food and as many weapons as they can carry, bar the castle's gates and prepare for an attack. The castle is under siege. Okay, the castle was taken in four assaults in the... F in the first assault, the Barbican was captured. One of the best recorded sieges in history took place here in 1224. The story, according to the winning side, was described by Matthew Paris, chronicler to the Abbey at St. Albans. And the winning side always tells you the good stuff about them, leaves out the evil stuff that they did, and tells you about all the evil stuff that the losing side did, and leaves out the good stuff that the losing side did. In the second assault the outer bailey was captured where where the king's men they got the horses from the castle pigs and countless other plunder were also taken in the third assault a wall near the old keep fell because of the action of miners who dug underground and set fire underneath the walls this was called undermining at the fourth assault, miners set fire to the keep and then the keep burnt and that was the end of Bedford Castle. Folks, the Brote's wife and all the women with her and Henry the King's justice here were allowed to leave safe and sound according to the King. But we don't really know what happened. And the enemy subjected themselves to the King's commands and everybody else, they said they listened to the King and they hanged 80 of the men, including um, William de Brote. And they let folks de Brote leave and go to another country in exile. De Brote's men held the castle for 55 days. King Henry ordered supplies for his attack from across the land. Okay, he sent a message saying, with all haste, the Sheriff of London to send two or three wagons of cord and 20 slings for mangonels and petraries, 45,000 crossbow bolts from Cove Castle, London, Herefordshire, Oxford and Northampton. Miners are to come from the Forest of Dean. The Constable of Windsor to send his master carpenter. The bailiffs of Cambridge and Northampton to send 10 white bull hides to make slings. 19 crossbowmen from London. Wine from St. Ives to entertain the 